G'day Taurus, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. See what's going on. Alright, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested. Alright, let's start. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. One. Two more, please. Two more, please. And thank you. All right. We have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Ooh. Wanting to have that heart to heart conversation with you. Speak honestly about how they're feeling. Ooh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Woohoo. They see you as a soulmate, Taurus. And chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Oh, yeah. Very attracted to you. <coughs> feeling, <coughs> feeling the chemistry. Sorry. Frog in my throat. Wedding. Ooh, this situation involves marriage. I must admit, when I saw that, I was going to say Wednesday. So that could be relevant to some of you. <laughs> Wednesday. Wedding. Yeah. Honeymoon. Oh, wedding and a honeymoon. Wow. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Deception. Someone wearing a false, false self mask in this relationship and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Hmm, so they, are they looking for a commitment here or is it just a bit of holiday time together? Hmm, there's a deception about getting to know you, but I'm hearing like they already know stuff about you. Like they've already researched you, but they're not going to tell you that. They're going to make it like, oh, so tell me about yourself and it's going to be like, yeah, I already know all of that. Hmm. Like they've been checking you out, Taurus. But we'll find out as we clarify. Well, you already probably know because of what I called this, but yeah. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. Tell me about heart-to-heart -heart conversations for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Three of Wands. They've been waiting. They've been waiting to have this talk with you. <clears throat> Tell you how they feel. Yeah, they've been just been waiting. Waiting to have this conversation. Yeah, page of wands, possibly, yeah, it's a, well, it's a passionate communication. They might have thrown a bit of flirting at you here and there. The compliments I'm hearing. Throwing you a few compliments, but they've been waiting to have a full-on conversation with you. <clears throat> the magician, ten of cups, wow, seven of swords, and eight of swords. Ah, I'm hearing now that, yeah, they want, they want commitment, they want the honeymoon, they want the whole shebang, but are they lying to themselves that you'll even want to know them? And worried that you don't even want to get to know them, because, yeah, they're trying to manifest in this beautiful Ten of Cups with you, but are they lying to themselves about the Ten of Cups happening? <sighs> All they do is think about you. 
They're stuck in their head about you, but they think they could be lying to themselves. All they do is think about you. But yeah. Um, also planning about, how, yeah, trying to think of a plan of how to get this to happen. <clears throat> Couldn't be using magic, but I'm not really feeling that. Maybe just you, like, wishing. Hmm. Tell me about soulmate for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Ooh. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords. For soulmate. Uh, they see you as a soulmate, yeah. They just want the wheel to turn on um, the pain, the e pain to end. It's not a painful ending, it's the pain to end of them not being with you. They see you as a soulmate. They want the pain to end and for the wheel to turn. <sighs> oh, the Emperor. They see you as a boss. You could be their boss. They want to stand tall and strong and in control of themselves when they're for you. But they need the pain to end so they can feel like they're in control of themselves again. Two of ones, I don't know what to do. That's what I heard. Don't know what to do. Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on this. They want to communicate with you. Eight of Wands, two eights here. And they want to show you this love. They want to show you this love. They want to passionately communicate with you. They want to put the work in here. They just don't know how to get it to happen. Yeah, High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. They've been quiet about the fact they want this passionate beginning with you. They want this passion with you. <laughs> Secrets. They're keeping it a secret from you. They haven't said anything. They've kept their mouth shut. Haven't said anything about... <coughs> How passionate they feel about you. Or well, not yet, anyway. They think about you a lot, though. Tell me about chemistry for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. <coughs> Sorry. Six of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Hmm. Six and Nine. Hmm. <laughs> and the Wands. <laughs> Very strong magnetic attraction towards you. Um, yeah. Wanting your attention, wanting to this to be successful here. Not giving up, but fe feeling a bit wounded and a bit of the wounded warrior here. It's almost like they feel this connection with you and it's like, here I am, but then it's like, no, oh, they didn't see me. They're not going to see me. They're not going to look at me. They feel so strong towards you, though, Taurus. Yeah, five of ones, another ones. Um, really conflicted. Because they want this, want you to see them. 
but then, yeah, then there's that disappointment. So they're conflicted about how they feel. Should they continue pursuing you? Should they continue feeling this way? If we've got a lot of wands on the table, three, five, six, nine, and a page. And the Emperor is a fire energy as well. Wand energy. Mm, judgment, yeah. Six of Pentacles. Two of Cups. And the King of Wands, there's more fire energy. Yeah. They're trying to make the right judgment call here. They want this balance give and take with you. They definitely feel... A loving attraction to you, to a cops. But yeah, they're just having to control their actions and passions here. Feeling that they've got to restrict themselves, I'm hearing. They feel restricted. They've just got to control themselves. Just keep in control, stay in control. Rather than, you know... You know, being bo boisterous or, um, what's the word, confident. And just going, hey, Taurus, how you going? And da -da -da. It's like, nah. Then, then, yeah, it's like they don't, yeah. They are worried about being shot down by you if they come off to, they feel like they just want to go, hey, Taurus, here I am. <laughs> But, yeah, they know that's not going to work. Alright, give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Oh, we got them. That was last. What we got? One, two, three, and that one goes back. Yeah, they really want to boss up for you. They want to be strong for you. They want to be uh, like Emperor Empress energy between you two. <clears throat> they want the pain of not being with you to be over. So they can feel strong and confident. Yeah, the chemistry's got them a bit turmoiled inside. Sometimes they feel confident, like they can approach, and other times it's like, mm, uh, I don't know if they shoot me down, I'm... Mm. But they're not giving up. Alright, bottom of the deck. Oh, sorry, these cards. Aspen Spirit, courage, yeah, see? They've been waiting, trying to build up their courage to talk to you. Butterfly spirit, transformation. Yeah, hoping that this will transform, that the pain will end. And eagle spirit, freedom. Yeah, that they'll be free to show this chemistry, that this attraction that they have. They're not feeling free to do that. Bottom of the deck, dragon, power. Moonlight, enchantment, magic, reflecting pool, stillness, and wizard of the woods, focus. Yeah, they feel a powerful connection between you two. It's like magic to them. But in the stillness that they're, they're in at the moment by not not taking action right this second. They are focused on you. Their focus is on you. <clears throat> They're not doing anything right now, but they're focused on you. You are the focus. They feel the power of the connection. They think it's a bit of magic. Maybe it's a magic trick. Because are they being tricked here? But mm, they feel a powerful connection with you. It's all action with the wands, the action to take. All 
All right. Tell me about courage for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Okay. So we've got the Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups. So they're needing the courage in case you walk away. You're not interested. Yeah, the courage to speak of this love. To send you this message of emotion. But they've got to have the courage to speak it, let alone to deal with if you walk away from them. Oh, it's going to take a lot of courage. Hmm. The fool. It's a leap of faith. It, they're building up the courage to take that leap of faith. And hope that you feel the same way. To take that leap. The courage to take that leap. The sun. You, you make them very happy. They want this happiness with you. King of Wands again. Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Nine of Wands. So that six and nine again. <laughs> I know. Stop it. <laughs> I've got the King of Wands here too. <laughs> All right. Now the gather. Transformation. Yeah, they want this to transform into uh, something beautiful. Their absolute happiness. The clarity of the situation here. So they, you know can show you their maturity when it comes to their passions and their actions. They can take action, mature action here. Have this balance, give and take connection with you. But yeah, there's that nine of wands again. They are guarded at the moment. They are... Stopping themselves is what I'm hearing, holding themselves back from this, you know, approaching this transformation. What am I doing? No, wrong card. I've read that wrong. That's a, it's the courage card, isn't it? Having the courage to, to take this action balance things out but they yeah again they're guarding themselves they're holding themselves back from this from their own happiness it's what they've got to build the courage up for wow i really messed up there didn't i yeah they're worried you're not going to accept their offer we've got to get the courage up to make the offer because they do want there you are taurus they want to commit offer something to you a commitment to you wow i really read that wrong didn't i all right. Wow. Straight on to this transformation. Tell me about transformation for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Sorry about that. Now what happened? There you are again. Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Yeah. It's a, like the death card, the transformation card. What will this transform into if they make that move, if they get the courage up? Will there be love and commitment here? Love, stability, commitment? Or are they just going to be so disappointed that, you know, oh, excuse me, does it transform into something that they just feel like, ah, why did I say anything? This person's energy is a bit confusing. All right, and then we've got the Queen of Swords. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Because they do see where is this going to transform. They want this commitment with you, but are they going to disappoint you? And then you cut them out. They're trying to protect their heart as well. 
They want a balanced connection with you, but they're worried about being left out in the cold. Justice, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and Temperance. Yeah, that's why this new stable beginning, they're waiting. They're being patient here. Seeing how this starts to blend together with stability. Because they don't, yeah, they want something balanced. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They don't want to disappoint you when you hate them. Because that's what I'm hearing with this. And you don't, you know, you're just like, oh god, I don't like them at all. No. Nah. They don't want that. I messed up. Alright, tell me about freedom for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. I mean, the message is the message, so. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Saw the King of Wands, he's the Queen. But they want the freedom to be confident, because this Queen of Wands is confident. She's hot and sexy and knows what she wants, but she's full-on confident within herself. They want to be free to be confident and show you that passion and love that they feel for you. Knight of Swords, yeah, and cut out all that things that aren't serving them, which is this restricting themselves. But they know they need to... Um, Express this. Well, they've got to know how you feel about it first. But this is, yeah, they just want to cut it out and be free to be passionate about you. But they aren't worried about they're getting their heart broken here. They want to show you this beautiful love and for this to be successful. But they're waiting. They're being patient here. It's going to be a slow... Yeah, they've got to build that courage up. Yeah. I'm hearing waiting for the right time. Because they are worried that you're going to break their heart. Sorry, that got a bit confusing there. <sighs> yeah, trying to get the courage up. Because they know if you reject them... Um, yeah, they've got to be ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. See what they would like to say to you, Taurus. Give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Taurus, please. Okay. Alright, I've got that one. And that one. And then that one jumped. And then, then that one. Okay. Sorry. I just feel flustered now because I messed it up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But I guess it was meant to come out like that, though. It's just meant to happen. All right, please don't give up on me. Yeah. They're hoping that you don't give up on them. Well... Because it's like, I feel like they've, they might have, like, got like a tiny little bit in through the door, just a tiny little bit into your space, and they're like, because they're taking so long and they're stressed and they I want to say the right thing and oh, if they reject me, it's like, oh, I hope they don't give up on me, you know, being 
an option or, a, you know, that, you know, not realise that, you know, f- not think that I'm interested because I'm taking so long. I'm in a codependent situation right now. This is, yeah. This is them. It all depends on you. It, it, it really does. It, it, it This depends on you. They're dependent on you. Caring about them. I don't think they're codependent. Like, you know, oh, their the life's be over if you're not, not interested. It's just this... You know, they have a lot of feelings here. It's it's all sort of on the line here for them. If they step forward, and it all depends on you. Can we at least be friends? Oh, oh no. Are they going to chicken out and just be friends? They might. Just be aware. They might chicken out and just stay, just be friends. Ah, can we talk? Yeah, yeah. They got. They want to find out more information about you. They want to know more about how whether you're interested or not. I think you might have to make the move here, Taurus, if you're interested. And yeah, I just want to be single. Mm. Yeah, because they might just turn around and go, well, yeah, this is too much. I'm just going to stay friends with Taurus. They want to talk, but they might just turn around and just go, oh, look, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to stay single. Oh, that'll be a shame. Because I feel like it's nice energy. They're talking themselves out of this. I don't want to love you. See, I told you. I don't want to love you. I'm sorry I hurt you. I regret letting you go. I love your smile. Yeah, see. Yeah. They might just turn around and go, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just going to stay. Nah. It's just going to hurt too much if you reject them. Um, they're going to regret it for sure. But, you know. Because they, they're in love with your smile, they're in love with you, but they are so afraid, massively afraid of rejection here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing like, I'm hearing, this is what I'm hearing, I'm hearing... Oh, I want this commitment with Taurus, but oh, they're just it's, to them. It's just going to be a good time, and you know, just a n- nice time together. And yeah, I'm just lying to myself here. They don't want to know anything about me. Oh, wow! Really, self doubting, right? Massive self doubting. Massively self-doubting. Yeah. It's like, oh, we'll just stay friends and we can just talk as friends and I'll just stay single. Yeah. Wow. Whew. All right. Let's get a message for you, Taurus. One card for Taurus, please. What's the message? Guidance and advice for Taurus. Yeah, different deck. At, ooh, we've got two. All right, it says take them. Okay. So we've got stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Ooh. Ah, oh, sorry. This is for them. <laughs> yeah that's for them they need to stay optimistic you need to stay optimistic too don't quit before it happens and we've got father healing your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven so if you've got any you know yeah 
But just stay optimistic, Dal. If you've got those issues, just, yeah, like, remove them from the equation. Um, yeah. Let them go if you need to. Okay, bottom of the deck. Divine magic. E extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Wow. So, yeah. They might turn around and just go get that courage up and just take that leap. But at the moment, mm, they're, d they're doubting themselves. You just stay optimistic here and um, do whatever that healing is. I'm more healing, hearing masculine side. Is there something within your masculine side that needs healing? Because we all have a feminine and masculine side. So there might be something within your masculine side that needs a bit of healing. Hmm. All right, well, that's your reading, Taurus. Hmm. Oh, well, I did hear Wednesday. Maybe they'll, yeah, maybe they'll reach out on Wednesday. <laughs> Which for you might be Tuesday, or it could be, yeah, because <laughs> we're a day ahead down here. So yeah, well, yeah, anyway, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Mm. All right, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.